Mandy, what are you doing way over there? Hurry <laughs> don't we have guests? <laughs> yeah, we do. Should we get to it? I think we should. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, in the county of Emmett, in the town of Armstrong, welcome Chris and Jay. <laughs> welcome Jay and Chris. So we know you have a business in Armstrong. Can you tell us a little bit about Armstrong? Armstrong's a nice little town, 10 miles south of the, of the Minnesota border. Uh, small community, great place to raise your kids. Um, everybody knows what they're doing before you do. And great uh, Main Street businesses. And um, we can provide just about anything you need. Yay. So it's just right outside, a little ways outside of Sweet Swine. What kind of business do you have in Armstrong? We own a local newspaper <laughs> called the Armstrong Journal. And how long, you've had, how long have you had the journal? We've actually owned the Armstrong Journal for three years. But I have been employed there for 24 years. Wow. Have you noticed yeah. a lot of changes in the last 24 years? Definitely. Um, we went from dark rooms with 35 millimeter film to everything is digital now. Everything's on the computer or on a digital camera. Um, no more film. And there is it a um, daily newspaper or a weekly newspaper? It is a weekly newspaper. A weekly newspaper. Mm -hmm. okay. Comes out on Wednesdays. So how is it that you got into that business? Well, I um, actually came home from college um, to marry my honey and um, needed a job and they were hiring at the paper. So I started off as a proofreader and working at the front desk. Very good. Yeah. Do you want to hear the rest of the story? Yeah. I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> so I was working part time and um, then we put in a, a printing press to print newspapers right there in Armstrong. And so um, my boss asked if I wanted to learn how to run the press. I'm always up for a venture. A new so, challenge, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. So we did that. Uh, I learned how to run the press. I also learned how to produce um, to produce 35 millimeter film, um, black and white photos for the paper in a dark room. And um, then when we went digital with um, our cameras and things like that, our scanners, um, I was instrumental in that. Um, so I just kind of grew along with the business. So do you just print the Armstrong paper or do you print other papers? As no, long as when I heard you have a printer, I'm like, well, wow, you could kind of expand mm -hmm, then, right? Mm -hmm. Right. We are the central printing plant. We print 21 publications there. So we print papers from like Lake Mills, Iowa, Sac City, Pocahontas, Odebolt. Um, we have a shopper that's down in the Ida Grove area. Wow, so you're so busy. So we cover, yeah, we have a, a paper in Canton, South Dakota that we publish there. So there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into this? And, oh, definitely. Or maybe just blood and sweat, not a lot of tears? Or Oh, there's been a few there's tears. There's been a few tears. tears. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have those. Definitely. Have those. And, and when you say blood, sweat, that, that's how we came into the ownership of the papers. Uh, Chris's boss at the time offered her a uh, call to uh, sweat equity, where we would work hard for 10 years, and then that would be part of the payment towards the okay the like papers. a down payment for yeah. the paper mm -hmm. awesome so it was a very nice thing for us yeah so we actually own four newspapers oh wow we own armstrong ringstead sway city and bancroft how exciting yeah yeah very nice. exciting so what do the kids think they want nothing to do with it well, <laughs> <laughs> we tried to coax our daughter into staying and not going to college because she um has a good grasp of it and mm -hmm. she can work alongside me but she has no now, desire. Now besides newspapers with the printing presses can you do magazines and other brochures and that type of thing? Are you we have a capable? Yeah we have a commercial printing department so that is more business card letterhead envelopes brochures wedding announcements invitations all invitations that kind of stuff. flyers. So where do you see the business being in say 10 years from now? Um, definitely um, online Okay. Um, we are not online yet. Um, it's a jump that's scary for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm more of a hands-on, get dirty kind of person. So to take it all online, where I think you lose some of that control, uh, is difficult. But I do see that that's going to be coming down the road very soon. Wow, you've got quite an operation there. How many employees do you have? We have nine um, wow. between our four newspapers. Wow. Yeah, we have one who's been there for over 40 years. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. yeah. And you know, Sandy, what amazes me the most with their story, I mean, only could this happen in a small town 
where you have a husband and wife team that have put in the time, have accomplished this, and are still married. Can you believe it? How do you do it? <laughs> Tell he, us your story. He does all the work. <laughs> at home you do the work at it, yeah, but it has yeah. to be really a cooperative effort in order to have made this thing run as smooth that it, as it has through the years right yes I mean that's a story in itself yeah. the story behind the story yeah definitely yeah. he's been the one to make sure that um, the little girl gets pigtails and a tutu on and off to dance class and everybody's at practice or the meals are made um, he even does laundry and so yeah, without the effort that he puts in at home, it, we couldn't have done it this. It couldn't happen. No, yeah. definitely not. The other thing we have is we do have the agreement, since she is the experienced one at the office, when I go to the office, I ask no questions. I just do what I'm told. <laughs> He's <laughs> and, and, and I don't have any input unless asked upon. Oh, man, you know what, Jay? You need to write a book. <laughs> and you know you got the printing press. Write that book. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Not a writer. So. Well, you know what, guys? It's been wonderful having you here today. And I think we're all going to have to make a trip to Armstrong and just see the operation in itself. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Come and visit us, and doors yes. always open. Thanks for coming. It was Thank great you having you here. Thank you Thank very you. much.